All right, so everybody, me again. And uh, one question that I get asked quite often, you know, what, 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 what is your EDC blade? You know, what do you carry? What, what's your everyday carry blade? And, and the truth is, making sure nobody comes down the, the road here to go on the trail. There's woods and trails behind me here. But uh, the truth is, I, have to, I, I use two. two my, my two that I use most often is uh, one is the Spyderco Manix 2. And the other is this one, the CRKT M2104. All right. Um, where I work, I can't carry my gun. Uh, quite honestly, not supposed to have a knife. So it has to be down in my pocket. This is not very comfortable. It's kind of a heavy blade, the, the uh, M16, uh, M2104, sorry. And, uh, the, and it's a bit thicker than the Spyderco Manix 2, which goes in my pocket very nicely. Um, when I'm not working, all I pretty much wear all the time, matter of fact, even my shorts in the summertime, uh, the, uh, the True Spec uh, pants, 24-7 ripstop pants, and they have a designated knife pocket, as does the True Spec 24-7 ripstop shorts, right? Um, the pocket does not fit, fit the Manix 2 from Spyderco. Had it, if it did, I would actually use that all the time, uh, but it doesn't fit that. So I need to uh, find something. I needed to find something that would fit the pocket. This, so when I'm not working, this is my EDC. Slides right into that pocket. It's it literally the knife or the pocket were literally like made for one another. You know, when they were designing the pocket, I swear to God, they had this knife. Um, it sits kind of low. About that much sticks out. Not, I mean, enough to grab, you know, and pull out of your pocket. It is an, a great knife. Seriously, I mean, I love that blade. Hollow grind. That is an absolute, I mean, look at that belly. It's really, really sharp. I did a great job shopping this. It is a Kit Carson design. Aluminum handles, they have been drilled out. Let me move here. The aluminum handles have been drilled out to kind of reduce weight, even give it a better look. It is kind of a pillar design. It's got some pillars there, but they're not down here. They're just up here. The, uh, like I said, the blade, I mean, the blade is just absolutely, it's actually a rather thick blade, beautiful blade. I love that design. Now, just so you know, that this stud here is not for your thumb. I mean, it will work, but it's kind of hard. It, it is a flipper. You put your th hand here and it opens up, okay? Um, it does have a, uh, it is a liner lock, as you can see there. One thing, well, we'll get to that after, actually. Um, I, I just, I love the knife. The steel is, I believe it is, um, 8CR14 MOV, right? I got to admit, and I've said this before, I can't sharpen knives. I'm not a very good knife sharpener. I can get a really good user, a using edge, a workable edge on any knife. I, like I said before, it's not going to be pretty, and if you really know what you're doing and you look, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to believe what I did to it, but it cuts, and it's very sharp. Um, and I, I really like this. When you're going to cut something, especially like rope or something, you get that in there and you start like here with the knife, with that belly, you really can cut stuff really, really nice. But uh, as I said, it is a flipper design. It really is a nice knife. Now, if it doesn't matter to me. I really don't care. But the pocket clip, is not a left, a right, a tip up, a tip down. You can't change it around, you know. It is pretty much tip down. Pretty much tip down. That's it. 
You can't change it unless you want to do some drilling. I'm not about to do that. That's not my thing, you know. I've had this, I'm going to say four years, about four years, probably a little bit over four years. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Now, as I said, it is a liner lock, locking. But one thing, and this is the one thing I do not like about this knife. It's also got what's called the auto lock system, which is CRKT. They patented that. I believe they did. Auto locks. All right. So when I pull that liner over, it's really cold out. My fingers are freezing. When I pull that liner over, you have to push that down in order for it to, to get engaged. Now it's locked. You have to pull the liner over. Yeah, like I said, my fingers are freezing. It's really cold out right now. I don't like that. That's the one thing about this knife I do not like. Everything else I love. I like the handle shape. I like the shape of the blade. Everything. I don't mind liner locks. A lot of people... Folders for me are a utility knife. Uh, kind of a self-defense knife. More of a utility knife. I'm not going to baton with it. I'm not going, you know, I mean, I do bring it hiking with me, but just for small little stuff. Hey, cut this rope for me, you know, but I don't need a huge locking system. Uh, I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like. Mainly because I really like a knife I can open and close with one hand. I can't with this. Maybe there's a way. I haven't figured it out. Uh, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful knife. CRKT, Columbia River, Knife and Tool, M21-04, Kit Design, Kit Carson Design, sorry. And it's just an incredible knife. I love how it fits in my hand. It does have jimping there, right? And because of the flipper, when it actuates around, the flipper's here. You can put your hand in there. I mean, I really get a good, good, I don't... I'm not afraid if I jab somebody or something with this, my hand's going to slide forward. I don't feel that. Reverse grip, same thing. Hand fits in perfect. It locks in there. I can put my thumb up here. You know, great, great design. I, I love this knife. There is a smaller version of it. I believe it's the, which is the M2102, I believe which I want to get the exact same knife, just a smaller version. I, I want to get that. I really, it's kind of cheap. This, like I said, it's been four years. If, if I paid 70 bucks, that, that's actually probably too much. I, I probably paid that. I, what you can get them for now, I, I'm really not sure. I haven't looked, but um, this is my everyday carry, not at work knife. Every day in that designated pocket. The Spyderco Manix 2, that is my everyday carry work knife, out of work knife. And uh, great knife, I really, really like it. And uh, if you haven't had one or tried one, go grab them, they're beautiful. The steel is very nice. I don't have a lot of experience with that steel. This is the only knife I've ever had with that steel. I don't exactly remember what the Spyderco Manix 2 is for steel, but um, this is a great knife. And, uh, yeah, this is it. Everyday carry, out of work knife. CRKT M2104, beautiful knife. Only thing I do not like is the locking mechanism, the auto locks. Would I not get it or would I give it away because of that? Absolutely not. It's just a little bit slower putting it away, locking up, putting it away. That's it. Uh, so other than that, that's all. I appreciate you tuning in as always. If you're not a subscriber, please do comment. I really like the comments. I like to interact with everybody and uh, we'll talk again soon. Okay. Later. Bye.